Okay, if you're still with me, great. Stick it out, we're halfway done. Not that bad. There's only four main things you have to learn for this unit, and we're on number three right now. So, number three, third thing, which really just builds on the first two, is present composition. And this is by mass. Okay, so if we have a compound, let's do, stick with good old H2O. We might want to know what is the percent of this compound of hydrogen and what's the percent oxygen. Now you might look at it and say, well, there's two hydrogens and one oxygen, so it's, you know, two-thirds hydrogen, one-third oxygen. It doesn't quite work that way because hydrogen atoms are much, much smaller than oxygen atoms, so they don't take up nearly as much of one atom if we're talking about mass. So the way that you're going to do this is use mass to calculate it. So let's go step by step. Step one, let's find the mass of hydrogen. It's going to be 1.01 molar mass of hydrogen times 2. So it's going to be 2.02 .02 AMU. Alright, now we're going to find the mass of oxygen. 16, and there's only one, so obviously we're just going to use 16. Okay, and again, add those together, and you get 18.02 AMU, which we've done a million times. All right, so we know the mass of hydrogen in the compound, we know the mass of oxygen, and now we know the mass of the compound. So what you want to do I've taken up a lot of space here. What you want to do, you take the mass of, and this is a general formula here, you take the mass of one element and you divide it by the mass of the whole compound. So let's, let's move this over here, I had a change of heart. So that's our general formula. Now, in a problem like this, it would be asking us, what is your percent hydrogen? What is your percent oxygen? Okay? This is going to be what the problem is wanting to be answered right here. So we're going to use, we're going to use our formula that we just wrote over there. All right, so let's do mass of element, which is going to be the mass of hydrogen, which if you remember from up there was 2.02. .02. Okay, divided by the mass of the compound, which is just the molar mass. All right, put that in a calculator, 2.02 .02 divided by 18.02, .02, and we get 0 0.112. We want three sig figs. All right, so when you are calculating a percentage, you always want to remember to either move the decimal point twice, or multiply by 100. However, you can remember to do this. They have the same effect. So basically, the result you're going to get is this. Okay? So our percent hydrogen is going to be 11.2. All right. Let's just do the same thing for oxygen. We're going to do 16 divided by 18.02. And we will get, okay, oops, you get 88.8%, okay, three sig figs because we used three sig figs earlier in our measurements. So we'll put that in for our answer, okay. So we're done. We've answered the question. And the really neat thing for percent composition is you can check your answer and know right off the bat if you're right. And that's because this compound is made completely of hydrogen and oxygen. So the percentage hydrogen and the percentage oxygen will have to add up to 100%. Okay? So if we add these together, they should equal 100. If they don't, we were wrong. 
So the nice thing is they do, and we know that we did the problem right. Okay? If they didn't, we would know that we did the problem wrong. Now, every once in a while, you're going to end up with something like, you know, 99.98%. And that's because, for whatever reasons with significant figures, you ended up um, losing a digit somewhere. So if you get, if you get like 99.98, you did it right. You still did it right, and you'll be okay. Okay? Um, So let's try let's try a couple more examples here. Let's do now that you guys should be good on how to do it. Let's try to find the percent composition of let me give you a little bit better compound. Well let's just do magnesium chloride. We're gonna do magnesium chloride. So I want the percent magnesium and the percent chlorine. Okay, so this is our little answer box here. So pause the video now, try to solve it on your own, and after we've after you've gone through it, you can check my solution and see if you did it right, which hopefully you did. Okay. All right, so let's go through the solution here. Um, our first step is going to be to find the mass of everything. So the mass of magnesium. Look at our periodic table. 24.30 AMU, mass of chlorine, 35.45 AMU, so that means, I'm sorry, 35.45 times 2, which is going to give you 70.9 AMU getting ahead of myself here. So that means the mass of MgCl2 is going to be, just adding those two together, 95.20 AMU. Alright, the, the key thing here, which I almost skipped earlier, is when we were doing the mass of chlorine, since there were two chlorine atoms, which I should probably write here, since there are two chlorine atoms, we had to include this times two here. Okay? Had to include the times two here. All right. So now we, all we got to do is divide. So we're going to do percent mg, 24.3, divided by the mass of our compound, 95.2. Okay, and that's going to give us 25.52% after we move the decimal place. So 25.52%. Okay, so let's do percent chlorine. It's going to be 70.90 divided by 95.2. And put that in your calculator and you should get 74.48 percent. Okay, switching colors a lot here. Add these up and you get 100.00 percent, which tells us that we did it right. Okay, um, that's it for the video on percent composition. Go try some more practice problems. If you're having trouble, Come let me know.